typical day on camp in terms of nutrition. Depending on how I feel in the morning actually on camp, because it depends on how big the meal the night before has been, I'll usually have either a sort of homemade energy ball or nothing before swimming. It depends a little bit on how hard the set is. Again, if I've got really hard hundreds, I'll try and eat something. A cup of tea, probably a snack ball, go and do the swim. I will have made up in the morning my bircher to sit in the fridge so it's ready for me when I come back from I'm swimming, so in a bircher, I usually put in oats, Greek yogurt, some almond milk. Depending on what's available, I like to put in like a few like fresh berries, some cashew nuts, maybe some chia seeds, peanut butter, honey, and a banana if I'm really hungry. So it <laughs> depends on how hard I've gone and swim as to how much goes into the bircher. But I'd like, for me, breakfast is one of my favourite meals, so I go quite big on my bircher. And I think especially if you know you've gone swimming and by the time you come back and you're eating, it's about 10, 10.30, you're kind of in need of something quite decent. Say we're heading out on the bike, it will depend on how long the bike is, but let's say it's a sort of three hour bike, I would probably just take a couple of gels for the sort of second half of the ride. I would probably be looking at leaving maybe like an hour after having had my bircher, so I should be fairly well fueled. If I was going for a bit longer or if I had not done the swim and I was just doing the bike, then I would probably take a bit more. I'd probably take some of the SIS Beta Fuel, uh, which is much more calorific and dense. Or if I've got hard efforts, I'll take more to consume on the ride. But if it's just a steady ride, maybe just a couple of gels to keep me going. Coming back from the ride, to come back for lunch, it'll either be a cafe stop for lunch to just get like a nice sort of ham baguette. Today I actually had a nice ham baguette with some black pudding in it. Delicious. Really good. <laughs> or come back and cook up some sort of avocado on toast with eggs and spinach. You know, quite simple but got all the stuff that you kind of need. I tend to have like quite a big meal in the evenings so we've been doing a range of like a tagine, a paella, risotto, something you know like quite stodgy, lots of carbs, fill you up nicely for the next day, with lots of protein, all quite easy stuff to cook as well. I think especially when you're in a different kitchen, you don't really know what the facilities are, you want to keep it quite easy. Very important as well I think to have you know like a nice beer or glass of wine to go with that. Maybe not every night but I'd say probably three out of seven nights on camp, I would be having some kind of alcohol. I think people get a bit too het up on camp about trying to be super clean or anything like that. But I think generally speaking, you're doing so much exercise, it's actually, it's quite important to treat yourself <laughs> and just, you know, relax a little bit. And for me, having a nice glass of wine or a beer sort of helps relax me and actually helps me sleep better. The other essential thing that I think people probably know about me is I love chocolate. So it wouldn't be camp without quite a lot of chocolate. The main challenge is trying not to eat all of it at once. And Jack has just gone and bought about five big bars. <laughs> which is very dangerous. But yeah, I, I love chocolate, mainly dark chocolate, but I'll also eat anything. But generally speaking, I have, you know, a bar of the dark chocolate with sea salt. He says between us, but uh, if I have my way, I'd probably eat all of it. I would have, you know, at least a third of a big bar of chocolate a night.